Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's a pretty nice day out today. Um, not a whole lot is going on. That's Ella's little duck. It sits around her waist. Um, our, well, Tim's stepdad, so technically my father-in-law, he found it at one of his houses that he rents. Um, and the people had left it there, and I know why, because it has a hole in it. Tim tried to fix it last night, it didn't really work, he still deflated. Um, but Ella loves this duck. She, when, <laughs> when our, when my father-in-law gave it to her, um, I put it around her waist, and she would not let me take it so that she could walk home. She walked home carrying it, holding my hand. It was really cute. Um, but, oh god, I love the floors. <laughs> I was telling Tim and one of my YouTube subscribers last night that the floor just looks more sophisticated than the other stuff that we were going to put down, the Red Oak Parquet stuff. Um, and I honestly love this floor. Um, I sat out here for a few hours just because I love it. Um, <clears throat> and I never thought I would... Bless you! The bless you! Um, I never thought I would like a floor so much. Um, we still have one full box, and this one there's only a few pieces missing. Um, I think we're going to end up going here in a few months or so. Don't mind this. Um, it's not dirty. I sweep, I scrub, and everything. It just, it's permanently like stained because this is like our main walkway um you guys can see i come over here i step to do laundry it's not as bad over here but it's pretty bad here um this is just painted uh luon so that's what exactly what was underneath this too anyways i think we're gonna get the same flooring just i think we need one maybe two more boxes um and we're gonna extend it in to here to cover stuff um i don't know if we're gonna go all the way back behind the washer and dryer or what we're gonna go to but this is eventually gonna be the same flooring as this um i would love to put this flooring throughout the entire house however that's just a lot of money for flooring um, so we're not going to be doing that because we already have vinyl for the, like, living room area. Um, someone asked if we were going to be putting a living room area on the other side of the, this fireplace here. So, let me get out here. All of our kitchen stuff is still kind of out here. Um, but someone asked if I was going to put, like, a couch here and make this, like, a living room. But I think behind these curtains, we're going to get a wall put up. We're going to bring it out a little bit, maybe to like the end of this Luan here, uh, because we still need to put more down. But I think we're going to put a temporary wall there and get rid of the curtains. Um, I think we're going to end up making that into another bedroom. It's going to be like a storage room for now, um, but it's going to end up being turned into a bedroom whenever we need another bedroom for another baby. Um, this way we can make the most out of this house since we're putting in so much work um, and money. Oh, my ear is so itchy. Um, I think we're just going to make that into a second bedroom so that we can stay here for another five or so years. Um, plus, the yard is to die for. I absolutely love our yard. Um, however, I found out a couple of days ago it's not technically all ours. Um, there's someone that owns the property between the house next door and this house. Um, we only have like six feet of yard. Um, but there's like technically a whole field beside us that these people own. Um, you gonna eat that? Eat that and I'll get you down. Put it down. I'll, I'll get you down. You can get that. I don't want to eat them. But... Stand up. These people own this property and come on, stand up. Come on. Stand up, baby. 
out of the five years that I've lived here, I've never seen anyone do anything with that plot of land. You say hi. You want your milk? You say hi. <laughs> but I've never seen anyone on that land besides, you know, me and Tim. Um, and Tim even mows it, so. I consider it to be our yard because, well, it might as well be. Um, however, we aren't able to put, like, a pool or anything on that section of the land. Um, because if the people would come by, for some reason, they could... You know, get us in trouble for using their land. Um, but I really, I don't think the people even remember about the land. Because like I said, they have not been there in years. Um, and there's no house or any structure of any kind there. That would signal that someone else owns that property. I don't know. Um, but... It makes a great yard so I can set up tables for her birthday party and everything like that because I did get all of her invites ready. Um, I need to get more envelopes just in case more people get back to me because I did end up messaging a couple of people that aren't like on Facebook a lot and stuff like that um, and got addresses. I have 10 envelopes here, 10 uh, invites I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Um, I have ten envelopes here, and then I'm going to give them, like, physically give them to my dad, to my brother and sister-in-law, and my nephew, um, my other brother-in-law and his girlfriend. I don't know if they're actually dating. Um, I already gave my mother and father-in-law theirs. Um... Tim's Aunt Lori, stuff like that. So all of them are in envelopes with the name on them, but I didn't worry about giving their addresses because I can just give them to them. But yeah, uh, things are slowly coming together. It's about the beginning of July, so tomorrow is July 1st. Um, it is the 30th when you guys are watching the, or when I'm vlogging this, but it's probably like the second or third um, that you guys are actually watching this. Um, but yeah, birthday invites, I'm going to take them over and drop them in the mailbox today. Um, the ones that I had to get back yesterday to open them, I just put a little piece of tape on them because I forgot to put the time on the invites. So I had to write them in, um, and everything like that. I'd completely forgot about the time but Ella's over here playing with her kitchen now um she actually ate all but two pieces of her breakfast and for breakfast she had the berry berry kicks um I didn't put it in milk or anything because she has a glass of milk uh so that's how she eats her cereal she'll take a bite and then take a drink of milk take a bite take a drink of milk um and if you guys are new, we give her the Carnation Breakfast Essentials because she does not like to eat a lot and I'd rather give her something that I know she's going to be getting a lot of her nutrients and stuff that she needs. So that's what we do. Um, but yeah, not else much is going on. Tim had to leave already. He had to take his mom up to Erie for a doctor's appointment. Um, so it's just me and Ella the rest of the day. Um, yeah, not really much is going on. Um, I'll probably run over to Dollar General just to kind of look around uh, for now because I just don't want to be cooped up in the house all day. I'd love to just go for a drive, but I don't have my own car to just go and do that with. Um... But I may talk to Tim and see. I don't know. I just, I'm tired of being cooped up in the house. And I was supposed to go and have a play date. <clears throat> well, not me, but Ella. Um, my friend from high school, her son is like, he turned two in April, I think. 
Um, so he's not a whole lot older than Ella, <clears throat> and they were supposed to have a play date. However, the day before she messaged me, told me her grandmother had tested positive for COVID, and they had been around her, so we canceled the play date just so. All right, guys, so I am just cleaning up the kitchen. I need to clean off the table a little bit. Um, I'm putting dishes away currently so that I can get the few dishes that are done up done. Um, and then I need to get the flank steak in marinating. I just pulled it out this morning so it could thaw. So I gotta get that done. It is now 4.30 and I haven't really done much today, so. Gotta go. You say hi. Oh. Say dog. No. Say dog. No. <laughs> you guys, Ella's vocabulary is really, really starting to take off. Um, I was just reading her, I think it's pum or Biscuit Visits the Pumpkin Patch. Yeah. Um, it's a book. She'll bring me a book that she wants me to read her. But she brought that out and I was reading it and each page I would ask her to point out the puppy and she dog. Um, and then I showed her the girl. I said, this is a girl. Can you say girl? Girl. And she would point to the girl. Um, and she, she, she's never actually interacted with books with, with me like that. Um, normally two pages in, she's ready to take the book and run off and not do anything else. But she actually interacted with the entire book. She would point to the dogs. Um, she would point to the girls. And she would point... She pointed to the bunny, thought it was a dog. I was trying to correct her, let her know that's a bunny. That's not a dog, that's a bunny. Um, she doesn't quite understand how to say bunny yet, but oh my gosh. She's definitely picking up a lot more stuff, so she makes my heart happy. All right, guys, so it is now 9.30. She went to bed at 9, um, and then I started making dinner. I was doing other stuff and then I started making dinner but got water boiling for some mac and cheese and then I got some marinated flank steak cooking and then out here I got our porch organized we got this green table out here so now we've got our chairs to match well not to match but our chairs to go with the table that's why I wanted the chairs in the first place because I wanted to put that table out there so that we could get everything all organized. So now we can sit out there and we could eat or, you know, watch Ella play on the porch or anything, really. Um, I just, I really like it because I imagine a candle in the middle of the table, you know. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is hot and standing by the stove is making it hotter. Um, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.